what I'd like to explain is using the concept of linking as a dark and light component. Now, we have two elements going into this thing in terms of forms. That is, they have a three-dimensional experience. And those three-dimensional experiences really have to do with where those edges meet and describe to the eye the differences in the shapes. And if I take those edges and, and re-manipulate them, if I take this edge out, then you're going to be forced to deal with that cup no longer as a three-dimensional object, you've got to deal with it as a two-dimensional object. And I'll take this edge out right there. And let's take this edge out. And by doing this, you see what I'm getting to is basically the shape of the two objects. So what I've done in a sense is that I've linked them. I've linked them, in this case, by taking out that dimensional object. It's a simple way to deal with it. And you can do the same thing with line. You can do the same thing with uh, dark and light. And, and in the case of the dark and light component, I can put these things back in different kind of configurations. And you see what I did? I just took the side and the underside, and then we'll get up into here, So the design element will work with it. I'm going to bring this shape down and run these two together and connect these two. So now you see that new shape is taking place. And let's say we're going to have this shape up in here as a dark and light. And then you see I have no line or I have a line there. I could either redraw it as a line or I could put something else up here which becomes a shape just like we did with the dark and light pattern working with the concept of exchange. And now you can begin to see and get the feeling for where the cup is. Okay, now what I'm going to be doing here now is I'm going to draw a heavy line around this for the purposes of letting you see what's happened to the shape so you get some sense of the idea of the singularity of the shape itself. Notice that the light moved into the light into the background. That becomes then another element. And notice that I can even take this line out and you can still get the concept of the, of the cup itself. And I can even take this line out and maybe get away with the shape content still, making one continuous shape, letting the light run into the other. When this kind of event happens, we call this passage or letting the light move through. And as opposed to the dark connecting things up into singular shapes, that becomes what we call linking. And that becomes the concept. Now, of course, you can also add more darks to it and reinforce different elements of it. And if you'd like to see an interesting example of how that works in even photography, take a local newspaper and notice how the shapes and how the figures are suspended in space and look back into the, uh, the dark shape shadow that is around it. In fact, a good exercise to practice on is to take newspaper articles or photographs and take a marking pen and just draw shapes around the outlines and begin to see how those shapes merge and connect together. And then with the lights, see if you can find where the lights oppose each other. And you can really get a quite a good in, 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 in insider kind of information uh, happening when you do some exercises like that.